Hello world, welcome back. This is Daniel from Nerds with Academy and this is Massive Chalice part 20 of my premium beta backer playthrough. And um, I actually have to load a game that's a few, It's a, it looks like it's about 10 years back. And the reason why is for some reason my most recent save got corrupted and every time I try to load it my game just crashes. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to play a little bit of the, um, the strategic layer again. Um, so this is just after my last battle, and my two regions have the additional corruption, but it went down a little bit here. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer that um, that I lost, that I had to lose this time. But hopefully I can play through, and things won't be too much more random than they were last time. Okay, Nikon Page has died. The natural cause is at 67. Let's see here. So. Um, Okay, do we want to marry someone in? I think we did marry someone in, didn't we? Is it Bobo? I think we married Bobo in. We'll le level you up. Just trying to... I remember I married Bobo to someone. I think it was here, but I'm not 100% sure. And if they don't have kids, that's fine. I'll still give some more experience to the rest of, the, uh, rest of their clan there. Uh, family feud. Uh -oh. Seems like this came just in time. You were starting to get that look. What look? I had the same face for years. People always said it's rather inviting. I wasn't talking about yours. Family feud. Oh. You're awoken by birth Geisling uh, falling onto you onto you in a heap after being hit with a haymaker from Alexander uh, to Starwalk. He's been in a feud. Uh, there's been a feud simmering between the two bloodlines for a while. Something about one family uh, not doing as much for the war effort as the other. But now it's gone too far. What do you do? Force them to talk it out with you? Make Berth and Alexander settle their differences in the blo in the Bossa Dome, or, or send them on a road trip throughout the entire nation? They need to be reminded what really matters. Um. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit. I don't know what the Bossa Dome is, but uh, let's. I think I'm gonna send them to it. Let's see here. I mean, honestly, this guy does. I don't think that this guy's doing very much. I, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'll send them to the Bossa Dome. I don't know what the Bossa Dome is, but let's do it. Escalation. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, the fight is so furious that both heroes break their weapons within the first three minutes. Resorting to fisticuff, stir, uh, resorting to fisticuff stirs up the families into a further bloodlust until it comes time for birth to finish off Alexander barehanded. Nobody speaks, and as the victor is led away, you hope that this serves as a lesson to others that family feuds are not worth pursuing. Alexander Tostawarik has been lost. Birthling Gosling has gained the Shell Shock personality as well as XP. Okay, so she gained XP, but she got Shell Shock, which is, um, I don't know what that does, but my guess is it's pretty bad. Okay, let's advance here. Uh. Go, go, go. Advance the timeline. Hey, that baby. Rebecca Geisling has died um, at the na of natural causes at 52. Okay, and so this is the yeah the clock ticker. I gave this to Ian, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna level him up right now. Trying to go a little bit quicker because I want to get to some new uh, stuff. I want to fight that keep battle. Although honestly, it's probably not going to do that now. It's going to be something silly. So bestow the relic. Um, keep going. Let's see. Okay. Athena Page, the region of Page Manor, has died. Okay. So let's see. I want. Uh, who did I put in here? Was it uh, Byrick? No. Jade. Mercedes, strong willed asthmatic, alert, pessimistic. Eric. Um, I don't remember who it was. Was it Anna? Pessimistic, rebel, sluggish? Nope. Or 
Mercedes. She's a little older. I think I'm gonna do not Jade. I'm gonna do not lusty. Hmm. She's brainy. She has the she has my relic though. I don't want to do that. Not Sarah. Anna. Not Anna. Mila. Let's do Mila or Mila. I don't think that it will. Uh, matter in this case, but I'll confirm her. And then we'll, uh, ooh, I think, I think I married in someone that was, you know what? Oh. Let's do Locke McGirt. <laughs> He's old too, so they're basically going to have, not going to have any kids. Um, but he has longevity though, so perhaps. Let's do that. Let's see. It's unlikely that they'll have any kids, and most likely they'll die before anything useful happens, but I don't know. Uh, the Relore Regent has died as well. Kelwin's good. Um, Yelan is good too. Flincher. Quick, but longevity. Hmm. Pretty good. William or uh, Shai Shao Hai. I think maybe Kelvin. Hmm. Downtiful. Alert and Lone Wolf. Or quick. Do I have anyone that's smart? Actually, William's pretty good. Wily and attuned. I might use him as an actual person, though. Uh, I think I'll do Kelwin. She has reasonable traits. Alert and Lone Wolf are fine, and Bountiful's good, particularly if she's going to be um, in there. Now, can I marry in someone that has uh, ooh, like Hector Geisling would be a good choice. He has increased intuition, Hawkeye, and Quick. Those would be good. Uh, let's see. Christopher is pretty good, too. It's not a bad match. Or Charles McGirt. Um, he's quick study, but he's also nervous. And I... Nervous makes me nervous when it comes to alchemists throwing explosive flasks everywhere. Uh, he has the relic. I do not want to give him Leonard. Nah. Ambrose is good. Hmm. Oops. Right. Oh, wait, 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 back, back, back. back. So I think one of these Geislings is a pretty is a pretty good match. Like Christopher is pretty is good. He has stalwart, so ex, a little bit of extra defense and then quick, or increased intuition and quick. I think I'm gonna do Hector. So it'll be Hector and um, uh, Kellen. This is this seems like a nice match. Let's do that. Okay. I'm sure these people will die before anything useful happens. Let's see here. Research complete. Experience boost for heroes. Yay. Um, I think I was researching the fertility boost, but I, I think I'm going to do the armor boost instead. Okay. Get all that. Go forward. No babies, really? Oh, there, there we go. Another one. They should have a couple trainees now. Yeah, they've got two. Forever at the front of the pack. House from Lure. Caitlin, who's Hawkeye, and Inara, who's Brainy. Ah, excellent. She is probably going to be my 
final awesome alchemist. She doesn't die. Kuka McGirt, regent of Dia Solaris, has died at 61. Okay. Um, we have Ao McGirt, who's sickly and impressionable, but wily and as an event is an Avenger. Charles is quick study, nervous Avenger attuned. Uh, that nervous is pretty bad. Audrey, disheartened. Nope. Boudica, heart disease, asthmatic, arthritis. Rebel disheartened. <laughs> oh man, you can't make this stuff up. Sickly Hawkeye. Okay, yeah, I think um, hey, it was pretty good. Either that, uh, yeah, Ambrose is sort of my my lead dude and has fear, so I think I'm gonna go with a uh, Io. Io. The minus HP is a little bit annoying, but Wily and Avenger are both pretty good, um, and so. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And he has high, he has a high level of experience. So, and now we need to find someone that will hopefully have um, some good stat, uh, good traits. Hmm, marrying party in there is a good choice. Quick study, longevity. Rebel is is okay. Does this guy have anything? Uh, actually, Rebel's good for the um, the McGurts because they keep getting that stupid. Uh, you keep getting that really bad, um, disheartened trait. Nope. Anna. No. Nope. Oh, quick. Flincher, though. Christine. Olivia's. Wade. Brainy, heart disease, Hawkeye, rebel, reveler. You should marry into a, um... Kira Geisling? Stalwart, cocky, attuned. Bookworm, strong willed. That's not too bad. That's not a bad choice. Hi. Hmm. I think she's active, yeah. She's got the crossbow. I don't want to do that. Oh, hey, here we go. Hmm. Should I marry in uh, Tamora Heart and Home? She's bare strength, queen maker, quick, patriotic, and attuned, and flincher. I think do it. I, I don't think that they'll have a huge number of kids, but she's very strong, and so if they have even just one or two, there's a good chance that they'll have good, uh, good abilities. Give me your XPs. Amir Nord. Oh no. Keep attack. Uh oh. Okay, so it's it's another keep attack. It's just it's a different one. That's fine. So let's uh. So we're gonna be against ruptures, cradles, and wrinklers, and my reward is the satisfaction of a job well done, which is always good. Let's see here. Okay, so we need to add. Um, uh, An Geisling. He has the other crossbow. So I'm gonna confirm him in, and I need to give him the clock ticker. Whip. And then the veil armor. Whip. And not a skipping stone, but the steady hander. I think that's particularly when you're using follow-up so much, it's just it's key to have. So we've got Ambrose. You still have fear and your skipping stone as well as your heavy armor. Looks good. So let's let's add one more caber jack if possible. Let's do by uh House name. Alchemist. Uh, yes, we've got. Okay, yeah. So it's it's basically which McGirt, which other McGirt do we want? So there's Budika, who is just awful. <laughs> has awful traits. She's probably a nice person, but she has bad traits. Um, Charles is nervous, but his other, which is a twenty one percent accuracy penalty, but his others are pretty good. And then uh, Audrey, quick study, disheartened. Oh, I guess two speed, really? Yeah, that's not gonna fly. I think I have to bring Charles, even though he's got, even though he's nervous. I, we believe in you, Charles. 
Hmm. I think I'm gonna give him Fury. And I think I'm gonna give him Charge. And then I'm gonna equip him with the standard caber, because I don't have any other choices, but the advanced caber jack armor. And then um, I think I might want to give him a steady hander to help make up for his low accuracy. I think that sounds good. There we go. Okay. Didn't hit confirm. Uh, right. Charles McGirt. He's young too, so he has a chance to to learn from Ambrose. Okay, I like this. So we've got Karina Geisling. Awesome hunter. Uh, Ian Geisling. Pretty good hunter, who will be awesome soon. We have Fairy Lusty Page, the 63-year-old alchemist. I wonder if I should swap in a different alchemist instead. Uh, oh no, she still has the special um, relic weapon. I think I will. Okay, let's do it. They think they can attack the Geisling Keep and get away with it? Bring I don't think so. Or 11. Okay, so we've got a couple behind us. It's fine. Yeah, they cannot break into the Geisling Keep and get away with it. Fenton. Hmm. Oh, he has a sip, sip stone. That's pretty funny. I'm glad he decided to keep that on. Let's see here. Ugh. Ada Geisling, age 60. Oh, that's right, I'm gonna have additional people, so that's good. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do a follow up on these guys. I think the, the regent of the keep should get the first shot, so. There you go. Get him up a little bit. Um, can I get. Oh, no, there's no way I can get Lusty over there. She's slow now. Old age, decreased strength. Speed is still five. Okay. She's doing all right. I think I'm gonna move into this corner. My guess is there are bad people all around. So I think moving toward a specific direction is probably the way to go. Ah, there's a big cradle back there. Hey, Karina. Just killed it. Mumbles. <laughs> okay, so we have a we have Karina Mumbles Geisling. Let's see, and Ian Geisling. Let's get you over there. Let's go Raptor. I think. Do I have anyone else that can? Oh, you know what? I can skip stone. But if I skip stone, it's better for it to not be the Wrinkler. So let's kill the Rupture instead, or better to not be the. Rupture, so let's kill this guy instead. Also, it'll deal damage to the uh, this guy and corrode his armor. So then I can easier to kill. Okay, good start. Okay, let's move. Let's do a skip stone on you, actually. Oh, he's too far away. Right. Up here. Can you do it now? Nope, still not. It's too bad. Okay, we'll move to this corner then. Um, okay, Lusty, I think, I think move, I'm gonna do a supporting position here. And then Charles, uh, similar deal, just move around this backside here. And then Lord of the Manor, here. There we go. I think we'll take one hit from this guy, but that's probably okay. Oh, I didn't notice that that guy was still around. Oh, two of them? Three of them. Looks like three. Wow, there's a- whoa. There are more than a couple right there. Yeah, this keep defense is gonna be- we got him. What if we go to this spot? This spot. This spot. I'm going to free throw. I 
Can't free throw there. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. We are going to stealth up to this corner. Actually, you know what? You, why don't you stealth all the way up there? Okay. Can I free throw there now? It's okay. Actually, hmm. Hmm. Is it line of sight? Like, how is this? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you must have to be able to see them yourself. I can kill him this turn. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh, that's okay. It's... I'll make it so they can't hit my alchemist, I think. Then you guys can stealth over here and get some additional intel on the enemy. Okay. Got another cradle, no problem. And uh, Ian. I want you to go over here, actually. You're going to watch the back, yeah. And I'll send the rest of my heroes to go with this, uh, this dude here. Um, my attack for 23. He'll also burn then, I guess. Yeah, we'll do it. It, the acid will corrode him some more. And this character is going to die um, before the next battle, so. 18, 5 age, oh, and yeah, she's. Oh no, she died from old age! Oh, no. Okay, apparently she's going to die in this battle. It's okay. Got Avenger now, though. Okay, Charles, let's show us what you got. Good job. Whoa, 400 XP. Nice. One more turn on that. Okay. Up here. Yeah, let's get some Kager Jacks in, uh, into position. I think I'm going to sweep sort of up, and then I'll come back to the bottom area. Whoa, that was a little bit close. Yeah, so there are multiple ruptures sort of behind me, as it were. Actually, can I get, um, is there somewhere I can move where I can get a shot on this guy? Somewhere over here? Nope. What about this guy? Nah, I don't want to be that close. Can I shoot that? Oh, that's not bad. Uh-oh. Oh, that was even a critical. Yikes, that guy's just got so much life. Shoot, that was not good. You've already moved. You've already moved. You've already moved. You've already moved. Shoot, that guy's going to get a good hit on me. I think. I can't shoot him from here, can I? Nope. Bummer. That was annoying. Enemy spotted by the advanced rupture. Uh oh. Oh, man, they're all over. Three, three, four. And it'd be really helpful if I had an alchemist right about now. Throw some bees in there. Although, she didn't have bees anyway. So, I guess it's neither here nor there. Okay. 
Uh, let's see here. Skip stones. We do not want to use them. Hmm. Are there any spots? Like if I stand here and shoot this guy, maybe? Hmm. No, I don't want to move there. That's not bad, even just killing this guy, but I want to... Um, yeah, I really wish that I could... Hang on, let me go back, back, back. That's a good spot. This is a good spot, actually, because then I can still... Um, I can still hit these guys. And now this guy can stealth up to here. And I might just maybe be able to get... No. Nope. That's a bummer. Okay, just take your regular shot and see if you can get this player. Oh, 50. Nice. Good old uh, Ada Geisling. She's tough. Can you shoot this guy? No. I can't shoot this guy. There we go. I'm not going to die. You can see either of these guys. OK. Is there a way for me to get this cradle? Can I swap teleport him? No. Hmm. It's a little bit limiting. It's just slow. Hmm. I'll get this guy coming in the right direction at least. And then Let's see, so who do I have left? So I've got uh, Ada. No, she just shot. So I have Fenton who can move and do something cool. Uh, I think what about right here on this corner? Move Fenton here. It's a little bit of, of a dicey move. Oh, it's actually a very dicey move. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to move uh, Ambrose up here. And I think that it's more important that I take out the um, the rupture of this turn. Well, no. Because hmm. the rupture is going to do, what, 20 damage? Yeah, I need to kill the cradle. Actually, kill this cradle? That's not Actually, I could just flare out everyone. Say, not a bad choice, really. Well, I mean, they, this, the rupture though is just going to explode on me, and so I think it's probably better for me to, yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill the rupture. I think this is more dangerous. I don't know. Heck, I don't know. Because the rupture is going to be dead next turn anyway, because it's going to run and splat all over somebody. <laughs> and so I think it's probably better for me to get rid of the cradle. There we go. 500 XP. So it's what, a 30% boost, I think, that, that research gave me? Yeah, he's going to splat all over my caber jack. Well, that was pretty good. He lost some armor, but... He didn't take very much damage, which is good. I thought he would take a lot more. We've got a trio of them coming up from the other wing as well as a wrinkler. Okay. Nothing we can't handle. Oh, wow. That was lucky. This is not as lucky. 15? Yikes. Well, he gained fury, though. That's exciting. 
Um, so there's a guy here. Two, three, okay. And there's a whole bunch sneaking up on us. I don't know if this is a double shot. Let's try it. Oh, it is. Nice. Oh, got both of them. Double kill for Grandma Geisling. That's what you get for invading her keep, I guess. Yeah. So clean all the sludge off, but you know, that's okay. Um, let's see. I can knock this guy around somewhere. Push him back, maybe. Actually, still. Oh shoot, my alchemist had all my healing potions too. That's a bit of a bummer. Mm. Can you swap stone this guy? Because what if I swap this guy? Can I? Um, one square, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be one square shy, that's too bad. Hmm. I'm gonna knock this guy back, I think. Really? You can't see him there? Oh, you can. So shift back here. Let's see if you can't kill this guy. Apparently not. Okay. That's a bit of a bummer. You can't do anything useful this turn. If I move you here, I'm going to swap. So. Actually, I could stealth my hunter. Well, this guy's going to die now because I can't. Um, Actually, can nope. Can't move over there. Okay. Now I guess you. Um, I guess try to stun this guy. Oh come on! Seriously. That he gained a rank of fury right as he died. I was lucky. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. So stupid. Okay, McGirtz, I think it's time for some. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to whack this guy. There you go. Uh, there's another. Yeah, there's another one of those guys. The another wrinkler in that corner, but I think we'll be okay. There it is. Solid kill. Uh, actually, was that eight? Oh, seven. Okay. No. No. 
Let's see here. Let's move. Hobbling shot. Yeah, I'm gonna do a hobbling shot. Oh god. Not the 80. Let's see, and then I guess I'll do a follow up then. Okay, didn't need it, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Another notch. Okay. Oh, man, these guys are really messing up my keep. Um. Let me just sneak over here, actually. Uh, see if you can put this guy down. Nice. Good job. 500 XP. Ooh, and a level. Oh, is that level 10? Yeah. Awesome. So I get chalk one up. Each kill increases the damage bonus for all attacks. Sounds pretty good. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna sneak my hunters around and see if I can get a, uh, a good kill on this uh, annoying wrinkler that's hiding in my, in my house. I'll move my capers up a little bit here. I can't believe I lost my alchemist. That was really stupid. I shouldn't have been so greedy. I thought that I, thought that, I was thinking that they did 12 damage instead of the 18 or whatever he dropped onto me. Hmm. Got a solid hit there. Um, let's see here. Can you see him? Oops. Anybody else? Don't see anyone. Nice hit. No. Let's get one of my McGirts here. Charles. You're not the one with the... No. It's the other guy. It's, uh, not Charles. It's, uh... Ambrose has the the special caper jack weapon. Let's send the young guy in. Whoa. He's got a big damage boost actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Massive victory. A ruler after my own heart. Yes, and if you take a week to celebrate and don't remember your name by the end, then you really will be. So sad. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> it's funny. It's like only the McGirts and only the hunt and only the uh, Geislings made it out of that one. <laughs> it's like my Page and my Williams both got killed. Oh, it's pretty funny. Oh. Fairy Page died heroically in battle at the age of sixty-eight. The royal court is prepared to execute her will. Okay. So this is who gets lightning. Barrack Page. Victor. Oh, he's good. He's a partner. Oh no. That's okay. Jade Page. I can see Jade inheriting it. It's not going to be Sarah. Anna? Nope, not going to be Anna. I think it's going to be Jade, actually. She has Hawkeye, which is okay. And her traits aren't great. I mean, really, I would have liked to give it to um, Victor, but he married someone oh, whose who's partner he is. So yeah, we'll give it to Jade. Yes. Fenton Williams, partner of Regent Geisling, died of natural causes at 52. Um, we'll go with natural causes. If by natural causes you mean getting stabbed in the face, then yes, it was natural causes. Um, uh, let's see. I want to keep Charles. Barrack? Nah. Arnold. Dimwitted. Yeah. It's, just, it's not even really worth it. Brady. Neil. I'll, just, I'll leave you to, uh. Well, I sort of feel sad leaving her by herself. 
I have anyone else that I know I don't really want to. Um, not Jacqueline. Easton? Nervous. Uh, Gabriella Party. Sure. You guys can hang out. Oh, so it does not reduce the corruption in the region, but it does defend the keep. Okay, that's good to know. What do we got? We got the armor boost coming up. Ada Geisling, she's dead. She died. Well, I'm glad that she could live a couple years in, in peace. Nope. Let's see, Christine? Nope. Leonard. Hardy, Longevity, Pack Hunter, Rebel. Leonard wouldn't be a bad choice. Christopher? Stalwart and Quick. Hmm. He's quite promising. Let's do Christopher, actually. Yeah, I like this. And then Mary in. Uh, Amanda? Hmm. Amanda's not great. Gabriella. Hmm. That's not a bad match. Longevity, quick study, rebel, you know, art. Do I have anyone, though, that is nimble? That would be, uh... Oops. That would be a good match. Let's see. Siv Nord is tranquil, but she's quite old. And so there's not a high chance of children there. Hmm. I think I think Gabriella Party is not a bad match. The quick study is good, the longevity is good, young at heart is good, and Reveler is not great, but that's fine. Let's do that. And they should have a number of children. And she's reasonably experienced. So they'll get some experience. Not a, not a lot, but... How's the Crucible doing, anyway? She's 44, okay. The Crucible uh, standard. Okay. Pretty soon we'll know whether our uh, the gamble paid off. How many trainees do we have here? Take a quick pick. Peek. Uh-oh. We only have we have five or lowers, but only two Geisling children? That's no good. Better be careful there. I don't want to lose all my hunters. That would be really bad. Uh, let's see. So just married in that family. Okay. And in the, the lower branch. Let's see here. Oh, Melody. Yeah, she's going to die of old age. That's too bad. Uh, oh no! Tamora Hart and Home died of natural causes at 59. Oh no. Do they have any children? Oh, they did have a child. Who's slow but with bare strength. <laughs> okay. Lily. They had a child, Lily. Okay. Um, let's see. Domestic. Nope. Christine Geisling. Two. Nah. Mercedes. It's not awful. Easton? Decreased accuracy. Quick study, though. Let's do Kiara Geisling, actually. I like the strong-willed, bookworm, doesn't really matter, but attuned, stalwart, and cocky are all good. So let's try that. Okay. And let us continue. Myla Page, Page Manor has died, okay. So who is going to be the one to carry on the Page legacy? Barak? Meals. I mean, it's 72, it doesn't matter really. 
He's going to die before anything useful happens there. Anna is useless. Sarah is brainy. Disheartened, nervous, though. I think that's... And Jade has my relic now, so I don't want to do her. Barrack is Wily, Kingmaker, and Asthmatic. He's not bad. Or Asthmatic, Pessimistic, Alert. I think I'll do Barrack, actually. I'll do Barrack. And then I will marry in... Um... Amanda McGirt? No, I need I need a, I need the McGirts. Quick study. How about Yolan Valor? Quick, but a flincher. Hmm, not great. Christine? No, 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 no. Nope. Mumbles. Mumbles is pretty good, but there's no real. I'll marry in Civ, even though she's not going to live very long, and we're probably going to run out of alchemists now. Let's continue onward. Advance the epic timeline. Okay, I got a baby there. Civ. <laughs> that was, that was short-lived. Okay, um, right. Hmm. Audrey. Disheartened is just driving me nuts. It's such it's such a bad trait, especially for caber jacks, because then they can't move. Uh. I'll do I'll do. Let's see. So they're alchemists. I guess I'll marry in Christine Geisling. Uh, let's see here. Keep going. Research complete. The Bulwark Bone Shell study is finished. We made some useful discoveries in dampening impacts and have already made necessary adjustments to every hero's armor. Cool. Um, weapons. What do I want? Ram capped caber. What if explosions from ruptures could be weaponized? By adding explosive tips to cabers, we could push enemies around a lot further than our standard models. That's, that's not bad. Um, Longevity boost, fertility boost. Let's do the fertility boost just for the heck of it. I think it's not super useful this late in the game. Again, I feel like from what I've heard, the game ends around year 300, and so it's like one more generation. Come on. So we got a baby here. Yay, we got another Geisling. What are you up to? Valentine Geisling. Brainy, okay. Adrian, strong-willed and nimble, yes. Good job. Yeah, these people just keep dying of old age. Oh, so sad. Mm. Couple people coming of age. Revan. I believe you'll have your work cut out for you. The balloon man. An old man with steady eyes stands before you. I have been beyond the corruption, he asserts. I have built a hot air balloon for this purpose, and I have seen what can't be seen, but nobody will trust my word. I ask to take your hero, Charles McGirt, on a new expedition to prove that insanity lies not within me, but out there in the expanse. I guarantee it will be the, a most illuminating experience. So Charles McGirt, he is, so he's got an armor boost, um, he's not the one that has the relic weapon, is it? Uh, let Charles McGurk go. We need to know more about what's out there. Threaten the old man with jail time unless he tells you what he saw, or turn the old man down and we can't spare anyone. I'm gonna let Charles McGurk go. I don't think he has the relic weapon, so let's do it. Charles McGurk jumps into the giant balloon contraption with the old man, who whoops and promises it will be like nothing the hero has ever seen before, and he will be gone for ten years. Okay. 
I really hope that it was, in fact, the other. Um, Am Ambrose has the relic. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Wow, I hate you so much, game. Oh, I gambled and I lost. Oh, no. No, no. Oh. No, no, <laughs> come on. Oh, it sucks. Okay, so I have to decide whether I want to keep the upper branch of the Geislings going or whether I want to lose my Sage Rites Guild. Um, the Geislings have just been so good though. And this is the region that gives them the, bo the bonus too. Uh, isn't it? I believe this is the... Uh, hmm. is it? I think this is the region that gives the Hunter's bonus. Okay. Okay, well I'm gonna have to think about this one and I will decide what I'm willing to live without. Uh, next time. So this has been episode 20 of my Master Chalice playthrough.